because this was a setup that worked for a while, was I got the 48 inch fence. They were still jumping it. Well, mostly only Princess was jumping it. You wouldn't think it since she's the shortest and the stoutest, but she is the, she, as far as I can tell, is certainly the most athletic and the highest jumper. But I got this one set up. The 48 incher, still having jumping problems. I called Premier One and they offered some advice. They said, get some fiberglass poles like you'd use, you know, to mark your driveway in the winter or whatever, whatever you might use them for. And uh, tie some string across the top and that'll at least create a psychological barrier. I mean, it's somewhat of a barrier. It's just like how the net is really a psychological barrier. It's a physical barrier in the sense that when you have it hooked up, which it's not right now, for Franny, I don't necessarily need it hooked up all the time, especially during the daytime, I don't worry about it. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's mostly about deterring them from wanting to jump it. So this 48 inch fence worked pretty well. You can see Franny's getting pretty excited, I'm here. But can you see over there, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Around that tree, I've got the ultimate fence. The heaviest, the most badass fence from Premier One. Uh, and that is their, I think it's a 58 inch fence. Would that be right? Maybe more than that. Six. 68 inch I think because that would be five foot eight which I, I think that's what it is 68 inch fence um, and they will not jump that they've never jumped that um, I, I think I take that back I think princess has jumped that fence once um, I didn't witness it but I had them in that fence and then all of a sudden princess was out so the other goats have not figured it out. I don't know if she crawled under it. I'm still not sure, but I need to get a more heavy duty energizer for that fence to be able to really fully pump it with like 8,000 volts. Um, Cause this original energizer I got was for that three foot fence, uh, 160 foot length, I think. It will work for this fence, definitely, but it starts to, uh, it can't fully energize. Uh, that's two 80 foot sections of, of, the, of the five foot eight fence. And here's Franny, who is a really special, wonderful dog, who um, has certainly not spent her whole life outside, but we're working on that now now that she's getting closer to she'll be two this year later this year in August and so I guess I'd always heard that you know don't expect a livestock guardian dog to necessarily be ready to guard your livestock right away but certainly I guess the more you can get them used to their lit their lifelong living situation the better but I've sort of wanted a balance you know, I've wanted a dog who I can take with me into town and will be good on a leash and will be good with other dogs and will be good with people and strangers and other animals. So I've just tried to expose her to lots of things in her life so far. And um, now that it's kind of becoming beautiful springtime, um, I have her out here. Now you may ask, of course, why don't I have her in with those goats over there? And that's a totally fair question. I was last year um, experimenting with just leaving her in with the goats, but I was having issues of, you know, I'd wake up in the morning and I could look out from where I stay, look out the window, and I would see her sort of harassing the goats a little bit excessively. You know, the goats like her, and uh, they will push her around a little bit, and she will want to do play with them in her own way. So, right now, I'm working on having her out here and getting her used to spending the night and getting used to the sounds of the nighttime and all of that. And, um, you know, she'll bark for periods of time throughout the night. Can you hear the static electricity in her fur? It's pretty nice. But she just, she's just a wonderful, wonderful critter. She's so sweet and gentle. And, um, 
you know, there I've experimented with different things. I've experimented with just leaving her out without a fence and leaving her outside around the house. And especially during the daytime, she will just stick around the house and stay quite close generally. And uh, she'll, she won't want to come inside. If I invite her inside, she will generally kind of run away. Like, let's say she's laying down by the front door and I go to open the front door, she instantly gets up and pretends almost like she's seen something and needs to run away. So uh, they're incredibly smart dogs, incredibly independent dogs, and uh, they don't love to be inside, I would say. You know, they love to be outside. So it can seem weird and people don't always understand family will come up here and they'll hear her barking and they'll assume that means, oh, does she want to come inside? And I will say with quite confidence that, no, I really don't think she wants to come inside. You know, she is, uh, she's happy to be outside. She's probably barking at some perceived threat or, uh, or whatever, you know. Basically, what I'd like to work on with her is um, figuring out some way that we can be off leash and take hikes around the property without her uh, totally running off. Right, since I've gotten her, when we're off the leash in this property and walking around, and uh, she generally stays quite close, and she is looking at, looking back at the goats and I and whoever else we're with, and she is, you know, keeping track of our position and sometimes running back, and uh, she's having a good time, and that makes me happy. But then what will happen is as we get back and circle back and start coming closer to the closer to home, she will basically, there will come a point where she can tell, okay, they're heading back, I don't want to go back yet. That's at least how I interpret her, her, her actions, because then she'll pretty much run off and be independent. And I've, I've tried to be okay with that as much as I can, but it just comes to a, it comes to conflict or, or it, it, the, where I start to get worried is when she is doing things like, um, on the other side of the, that kind of line of pine trees is a major highway. 55 mile per hour speed limit, most people going 65, um, kind of busy all day, intermittently, and uh, there have been multiple times now where, more late in the evening, where she will take off, and I believe she's barking or trying to fight off coyotes, because I hear them in the distance, and uh, she's kind of going wild. And that just worries me, of course, right? I mean, you don't want your dog running across a major highway and running into other people's property. So I'm trying to figure out a balance with that. And um, right now, what just seems like a good step while I'm working from home is just to have her out here as much as I can. Get her, get, get her comfortable with being outside. Get her used to and okay-ish with being in a fence. You know, this is a... 160 foot circumference circle it's not it's nothing it's nothing for a great pyrenees anatolian shepherd mix and i realize that you know i i want to have a 40 acre fenced in spot for her but um for the meantime we're gonna we're gonna try to make this work she doesn't she's not i don't think she's too upset being in here She's, she's, she's my happy girl. You know, she's, she's not distressed. As far as I can tell, she's got her little bones to chew on and, uh, bring it. I'm trying to show her love as much as I can. And, uh, we're going to figure it out. We're going to work towards her having a kingdom to defend that will not endanger her. Cause that's what I got her for and there are coyotes around here and it sure does make me more secure even though the goats have I think a pretty safe uh, situation there I am I am I can only be you know I'm quite sure that 
as a fair Franny's general presence in the area, her her markings and her her barkings. She is keeping any nearby coyotes at bay, and they know not to intrude into into her territory here. So I really thank her for for calming and easing my mind and I can I can not be here for a night. Maybe I'll even I take friend usually when I go into the city if I'm going to be gone for, you know, a day 